So Mario Barrios in the multicolored trunks and Eduardo Rivera. Now these guys have to follow the excitement from the Wilder fight. They're in the right weight class to do it. Barrios is 11 and 0, six knockouts, 20 years old. A pro since 2013. Barrios coming out early, establishing a good, long, stiff jab. We saw him three weeks ago, you and I, in Corpus Christi when he scored a fourth round knockout. Yep. And he's in that in-between stage right now. Six knockouts, 11 fights. Is he a puncher or is he a stylist? This, this is actually, these next few fights are, are, are going to be the, they're going to be the, the, the telltale. They're going to tell us what he is, whether he's got some pop in his punch or he's a boxer. A technician, let's say. Good work to the body. By Rivera. <laughs> Rivera is 9 2 and 2 with three knockouts. He has been stopped in two of his last three fights, and both of them in the opening round. So if he makes it out of this round, right. it's got to be a confidence booster. But you got to figure what happened. But he's uh, not going to make it out of this round. Well, we said the last two stoppages in the first round. And make it three. Still don't know if Barrios is a technician or a puncher. He's got pop in his punch, we know that. But considering that Rivera's last two fights were knockout losses in the first round, it says more about the lack of ability by Rivera's chin to, to take a punch than it does about Barrios' ability to deliver a punch. What it does say for him, though, is two knockout victories in a row, so that's what he'll be trying to build on. Absolutely. Two in one month. Absolutely. 12 0 with seven knockouts. Not a bad record for an up and coming prospect. Rivera was. Looking like he might get through that opening round and get get over that bad hump. And I just as just as the right before the punch hit, I started to say, you know, nine two and two. That means that he was nine and two draws. At one point, un, you know, undefeated, nine wins. You know, it's it's a good record for an up and coming fighter. I wonder what went wrong. And there we saw what went wrong in this fight. That the overhand right of Barrios just found its mark out of the way before the left hook of Rivera could even get there, step in, short, back out, and it's Timber. Yeah, from 9-0 and oh now to 9-3. and three. And you gotta, it's sad to say, but for, for a fighter so, so early in his career, but when your last three fights are losses in the first round by knockout, it might be time to really re-examine your profession. Yes, it's one thing to lose three fights, but three times you can't get out of the first round. A lot of that is, hey, yeah, and then finding continuity, finding management it will all be hard now. And to be so early in your career, it's not like he's 20 fights deep and he's taking a lot of punishment. You know, he's, it's, he's 13 fights deep. And he's only got three knockouts, so it's not like there's going to be a way to forgive anything. Right. Tough game. Tough game. You really get an indication of that here. We see the, the glory of the guys on top. And now we see the guys trying to make their way up. The, the fight game is filled with broken hearts and shattered dreams. Should be a song about that. I just wrote it right now. <laughs> that, that was the intro. <laughs> well, Springsteen? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, inside the ring, the end comes two minutes, four seconds into round number one. The winner by knockout and still undefeated, Mario El Nino de Oro Barrios. 
So Marco Barrios goes to 12-0 with seven knockouts. 